Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am finally bringing you my skincare routines. It has been quite a few months since I have done any kind of updated skincare routine. I honestly don't know if I've changed too much in them, but I wanted to show you anyways because I've had a lot of messages and comments asking me to give you an update. So that is what I'm a portion of this video is in partnership with Elemis. They sent over a box of goodies about, I don't know, three weeks ago, and I have been incorporating them into my skincare routine ever since. So I'm gonna tell you all about those. A little reference, if you are new to my channel, I am just about two weeks out from my 41st birthday and I have more normal skin. Now it occasionally gets oily right around here, especially since I just changed up some of my thyroid medication. And so I feel like it's it's a little bit oilier there. Occasionally it gets dry from my tretinoin use, but overall I would say it is more on the normal scale. So that might help you in determining whether or not some of the steps that I use are going to be right for you. I am going to cut away to me washing my face because today we're going to be doing my PM skincare routine. So I talk a little bit about the products that I use in the cutaway, but I feel like the main star is the Elemis Pro Collagen Naked Cleansing Balm. So if you don't know about Elemis, they are um, they're a pretty well-known brand. They wanted to bring spa quality skincare into the home. So they made their brand and they have a full line of skincare items, but one of their very best sellers is the Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. So they have three different ones. They have a rose one, um, which is scented with rose. It's for more sensitive skin. They have the original, and then they have the Naked Cleansing Balm. So I have been using the Naked Cleansing Balm. This is fragrance free, which just speaks to my heart. And it has like a balm gel texture, which I'll talk about in the cutaway. And I will go in with an actual cleanser. So this is a superfood Sikacom cleansing foam. And this is going to actually cleanse the skin, whereas this melts away all the impurities and makeup. I don't typically use cleansing balms because they will tend to break me out. This one, I have been using it for the past three weeks and I have had no adverse reactions from it. So I'm very, very happy about that. So let's cut away and I will show you how I do my cleansing routine and then we'll come back and I'll show you all the other multiple steps of my PM skincare. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with the Pro Collagen Naked Cleansing Balm. So you can see it is a legit balm. It has a little bit of a different texture than other balms. It's almost more gel-like. This is all I use, take it, and I rub it in between my hands to warm it up. So this is kind of like three in one. It is a balm, so it's gonna soften the skin, but then it turns into an oil as it hits the face to cleanse all the makeup and impurities. And then it leaves, by, it leaves behind like this moisture almost. So it definitely does not strip the skin. You can see how easily it took my brows off. That to me is like the test of a first cleanse for me is how easily it removes my drawn on brows. And then I will use a little bit more, maybe not even half of what I used to begin with and I will go over my eyes. Now this is the Naked Cleansing Balm, so it's ophthalmology tested, it's fragrance free, it's safe for eye makeup. So you can see I open my eyes, I don't have any cloudiness or anything like that, and it is removing all of my eye makeup. I don't have much mascara on at all because I just got a lash, lash lift and tint done, so I don't really need any, but it just removed all of my makeup. And again, it is very, good for sensitive skin and sensitive eyes. So then I'm gonna get some warm water and I'm gonna use the enclosed cleansing cloth. I'm gonna get that really saturated and then I will use it to remove the balm and all that lovely makeup from my face. So that's my first cleanse. Now we're gonna go in with my second cleanse. I've got all my makeup off with the balm and I'm gonna use the Superfood Sikacom Cleansing Foam. Typically, I like to stay away from foams because I've always thought they strip the skin. 
I don't find that with this at all. This is actually really moisturizing. And I'm gonna use that for the cleansing part of my second cleanse. So this is actually cleaning my skin, whereas the balm was taking off all pollution, impurities, makeup from the day. Pat dry with a clean washcloth. I use a new washcloth every time I wash my face. And I am ready for all of my treatments, serums, moisturizers, and ready to go. I have full confidence that there's not a stitch of anything left on my face. And ta-da, I am magically fresh-faced and ready to continue with my skincare routine. So the next step would be toner. Definitely this step has not changed. Typically I use a reusable cotton pad, but I just realized mine are all dirty. So I am going to be using a Shiseido one. I try to use the reusable ones. I will do my best to link the, the ones that I do use down below, but I'm going to be using the Revision Skincare Soothing Facial Rinse, y'all. I don't think this has changed in like three years. I'm not kidding. It is just hands down my favorite toner. And I really like to get up in this like hairline just to make sure I don't have, see I have a little bit of residual makeup that gets right up here. And I just like to really make sure that's all gone. This particular toner is very moisturizing. So I, I mean, that's one of the reasons I love it because it does not strip my skin at all, but it also doesn't leave a film on my skin. So it's not so thick that it's not gonna like sink in and it's gonna leave something left behind, but it's not so thin that it doesn't make my face feel moisturized. And it certainly doesn't strip my face like some toners can do. Now, if this was not a tretinoin night, if I was going to be using an acid, I would use some kind of acid toner in place of the one that I just used. I will leave a card up for my most recent favorite exfoliating products video, where I talk about a lot of exfoliating products that I enjoy using. Two of them that I did not mention in that video, I'll mention here. One is the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pad. So they sent me some of these as well. These are great because they are lactic acid pads. And I talk a lot about why I love lactic acid in the exfoliation video. Another one that I didn't talk about um, is a toner from Chantikai and it's the Purifying and Exfoliating Phytoactive Solution. This one is full because they sent it to me and I am still working on a smaller one they had sent beforehand. Just something I like to put in rotation, but those are two that I didn't mention in that last video because I either forgot about it or didn't have it yet, but I also enjoy these two as well. I do my exfoliation step twice a week. This is actually my tretinoin night. So after I cleanse and tone, I like to go in with a little bit of an eye serum and I love the Neogenesis eye serum. This is the second one that I have gone through. You need such a small amount. I really like this dispenser. You just press down. That was probably too much. See that small, tiny, tiny amount that even that is probably too much. Rub it together. And then I just like to pat this under my eye and then a little bit above. So all around like the ocular bone. And then I let it sink in. The reason I like to do this before my tretinoin cream, which if you don't know, has not changed in the past, I would, I want to say over two years. And it is my Curology tretinoin. This is a combination of 0.07% tretinoin, 5% azelaic acid, and 4% niacinamide. So that's kind of, that's the combination kind of prescription that I have been on for probably about a year now, uh, and it just works for me. I love it. If you don't know, Curology is a uh, company that will hook you up with a dermatology provider who will in turn talk about your skin with you. You send them pictures. They will prescribe what is best for your skin and the results that you're looking for, and they will mail you the product because you cannot get tretinoin cream over the counter. It has to be from a prescription. And I love Curology. I have a whole video. I'll try my best to put a card up. It's from a while ago, but everything I say still stands. And when I use tretinoin cream, it does travel. And so I like to put some kind of eye serum or some kind of barrier before I put the tretinoin cream on it so that if it does travel, I have a little bit of a buffer 
because that skin under the eye is a lot thinner than the other skin on your face. I don't really want a ton. Oh, hello. <laughs> Zeus came to say hi. I don't want a ton of um, cream. Hi, buddy. Under my eye, if that makes sense. I just don't want any irritation there. So what I do is I take one pump of the Curology. I kind of pat it in between my fingers, pat it all over my face and then rub it in. There are a lot of people that say, try to stay, steer clear of your nose and your upper lip. I don't have an issue with that. Y'all, I've been using this so long that I just put it everywhere but under my eyes. And then I take another pump and I use it on my neck. Now, I don't recommend this to any new users of tretinoin. Sorry, y'all, can you hear a zeuser? I can't pet him because I have clean hands. Because the neck is also more sensitive than the skin on our face. So if you were to go in having never used tretinoin before and slap it all over your neck, you could very easily get irritation. So it's something that you are probably gonna want to ease into. I have been on this so long that I eased into it. I started mixing it with a moisturizer and putting it on my neck. And I did that for about four or five months. And then now I just go straight cream on the neck. My most watched video on my channel is the makeup that I did on Sweet Beth. It's a mature skin makeup tutorial. And everybody is like, holy cow, she does not look like she's 67. Tell us what she does for her neck. Her neck looks so good. And she attributes everything on her skin to tretinoin cream. So this is something that I don't ever want to be without. It has done wonders for my skin. There are some people out there that say you don't need that. You can do retinaldehyde. There are some people that say you don't need retinaldehyde. You could just do retinol. That is personal decision. I'm just telling you what works for me. So I do like to let that sink in before I go straight in with any other products. The reason I do this is because I want to get the most effectiveness from the Curology cream. If I go straight in with other products, it almost acts like it's mixing with what I just put on, that cream, and it acts as a little bit of a buffer, and maybe it's not true, but I feel like it's not as effective. So at this point in time, I'll brush my teeth, I'll go get a cup of tea, I'll watch some shows, I'll do whatever I do, because typically I will you know, wash my face at, I don't know, six or seven o'clock at night, as long as I don't have anything to do or anywhere to go. And I have plenty of time to kind of let this sink in. So I'm going to go do some stuff, get some stuff done, let this sink in. And I'll come right back to show you how I finish up my nighttime skincare routine. Okay, now that I have given that time to sink in, I am going to continue on with the other steps to my routine. I use two more serums at night. And the first one is always the Osmosis Rescue Epidermal Repair Serum. Now, I typically would... Uh, mix this with one of their sprays. I have been using Boost for a while, which I'll try to remember to link completely out of it and it has not come to me in the mail yet. So what I have been doing while I'm waiting is taking my Truth Treatments Biometric Mineral Mist, putting two sprays in my hand, one pump of the Rescue, and applying it to the skin. Now, a lot of people ask me, what I think about osmosis skincare. And I'm gonna tell you, as a whole, I can't use it. I have tried it twice over the years, and there is, can't quite pinpoint what product it is or if it's an ingredient in some of the other products that breaks my skin out. Now, do I think they're good products? Sure, I know a lot of people love them. My skin just did not like them. However, I remember the first time I went to visit Courtney at Harbin House in Austin, uh, you know, she knew that, but she was like, no girl, you have to try rescue. And I'm like, but I'm so scared. I don't want to break out. She was like, I promise. I think you'll be fine. And I was, and I love it. I think now, yes, my skin is red right now because I've been putting pressure on it, but I think my overall redness has really gone down with the use of this product. I think if I have any kind of breakout, it really nips it in the bud. I know people swear by rescue and I think there's a reason. I really, really enjoy it. I hate the smell. Some people have said they actually like it. To me, it smells like chlorine that's gone bad. Like I just do not like the smell, but it is worth it. It does not linger. I love it. 
Now, the next step is my kind of last serum, and this is my overall anti-aging serum step. So what I've been using is the Elastin Skincare Restorative Skin Complex. I will also, and have also used in the past, the Definage 8-in-1 Bio Serum in this same step. So I will link both below, but right now I'm using the Elastin. And I just feel like both of those serums are just some of the overall best anti-aging all-in-one serums. I put two more pumps of the Mineral Mist and then I use two pumps of the Elastin and rub that in. My skin really likes Elastin products and I haven't used one that I haven't liked. So if you've been interested in the line, definitely check it out. I highly recommend it. Now it's been a hot minute since I put on that eye serum and that is again, a serum, so it's not meant to be a complete moisturizer. It has sunk in really nicely, and it's kind of a primer per se for my eye cream, which is the Elastin Restorative Eye Treatment. Now, I do wanna show you something that Elemis sent me. I'm gonna be talking more about this in my favorites because y'all, it's, it's pretty amazing, and I like to really use it more in the mornings I have found, but this is the Pro Collagen Eye Revive Mask and it's like a neon gel almost. So stay tuned for my favorites because I'm gonna be talking about that for sure. But at night, I still really enjoy my restorative eye treatment from Elastin. It is the eye cream I have repurchased the most. I love it. So I take one pump of that. It's just kind of a cream. It's kind of a mixture between a gel and a cream warm it up and then same as the eye serum from Neogenesis, I will tap that in the eye area. For neck cream, again, my most repurchased neck cream is the Revision Nectifirm Advanced. There are going to be people that say you don't need a neck cream, take everything you put on your face, put it down the neck. I get it. Again, it's personal. I prefer a neck cream. I really enjoy the Nectifirm Advanced. It's my most repurchased. It's the one I feel like works the best. I, at this point, kind of feel like my Curology was again a primer to this. It has had time to sink in and I am going to top it with two pumps of the Revision Nectifirm Advanced. <laughs> I love the background noise he provides. He's extra needy tonight because I'm the only one in the house and I can't ever tell if it's him like trying to be protective of me or if it's him just not wanting to be alone. I think it's a little bit of both. Okay, finally, moisturizer. I have actually been peeling a little bit lately. Not quite sure why <laughs> because I went for probably a year without peeling from my Curology, um, and it might be something totally different, but I'm needing a little bit of extra moisture. So I add an oil to my Neogenesis Intensive Moisturizer. I have a full video of my Neogenesis products and the line in general that I will put up in a card because y'all, this stuff is good. I love everything they make. When I feel very dry or extra flaky, I will add in an oil. Elemis sent over their Superfood Facial Oil and I've really been enjoying that. So what I do, take about one and a half to two pumps of the intensive moisturizer and about three to four drops of the oil. Rub those together and then massage it in my face. And this has really been helping. It's not so thick and rich that I feel like I wake up with a film over my face. I remember hearing, I think it was Jordan Samuel say one time that you don't want to wake up super shiny, that he felt like if you did, you were maybe using too much product. You just wanted to wake up looking like not dry, but just healthy, you know? So even though it looks super shiny right now, it sinks in super fast. It's not too much. It's not too rich. And I wake up with really supple, smooth, moisturized skin. At this point, I'm done with all of my products and I will go in with my Revitalash. This I only use about four times a week, three to four times a week. 
for maintenance because my lashes are where I want them to be. If you are just starting out, you're gonna wanna use this once a night or one time a day. I prefer, I would suggest using it at night. And just kind of line your lash line with it. Give it a few months to see results, but I promise you, you will. It's my favorite and I've tried quite a few. And the very final step is some lip balm. And I have been using my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is the original, which I think out of all the current scents is still my favorite, but they do have some holiday scents that I'm very eager to try because there's a peppermint. So that is my nighttime skincare routine. Uh, is it too many steps? No, not at all, not for me. I have had routines that have had many more steps. So this to me is a little condensed. Um, I'm gonna put more than one link within a category down in the description box because I do tend to rotate through products for certain steps. So I will put, if you know, if I use a couple different moisturizers, I will list all of those. But this is the roundabout version of my PM skincare routine. So please, please, please share your favorite nighttime skincare products. Be sure to check the description box. I have discount codes. I will have links. All the good stuff is going to be down there. If you have any additional questions, make sure to add them in the comment section below. I love chatting with y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. I hope you're all staying happy, healthy, safe, and sane, and that most most of all, you go out and have a very blessed day.